In this video, we're going to take a look at a very interesting exponent, the exponent of 0. Many people think at first that anything to the 0 power would be 0. After all, we're not multiplying anything together, so 0 must be the answer, right? Well, let's take a look at investigating a 0 exponent. And to introduce it, I'm going to introduce it with this fraction, a cubed over a cubed. What this means is we have a cubed in the numerator, or a cubed means 3 a's multiplied together. In the denominator, we also have a cubed, which means 3 a's multiplied together in the denominator. When we reduce this, the a's divide out completely. However, we must be careful, and remember, when something divides out completely in a fraction, it doesn't mean nothing is left. It means there is a 1 left in both the numerator and denominator. Really, this means 1 over 1, which reduces to just 1. There's always someone who doesn't believe me when I say there's a 1 left, so just for the sake of discussion, if we have 5 over 5, 5 divided by 5 is 1, or we could have divided the 5's out completely. It doesn't mean 0 is the answer, it means we have 1 over 1, or 1 for the answer. It's the same principle. When we divide out, we're left with a 1 remaining. However, if we had done this problem using the quotient rule of exponents, we would take our 3's and subtract them, 3 minus 3 and that would give us a to the 0 power. Notice we've arrived at two answers, two different looking answers, but yet both ways are correct in how we approached them. We are allowed to reduce, and we are allowed to subtract exponents. If these are both correct, then they must both also be equivalent a to the 0 power is actually equal to 1. Anything to the 0 power is always equal to 1. And I want to be careful here of another common error. This does not mean a to the 0 is the same as just a, 1a. It's not 1a, it is actually equal to the number 1, 1. That's it. So if we have this example down here at the bottom, 3x squared, all raised to the 0 power, anything, no matter what it is, raised to the 0 power is always equal to just 1. That's it. Anything to the 0 is always 1. It's the 0 power rule of exponents.